Hey there. In this video, we are going to look at how you can use the sine law to find a missing side length in any triangle if you're given two angles and another side. Let's do that right now. All right, so if we're going to use the sine law to find a missing side in this triangle, we have to think about which one we can find. To use the sine law, you need to have a side and an angle that are paired up, that are across from each other, which we have there. And we can use that pair then to find the side that's across from this given angle by setting up a proportion using our sine law formula. When I write the formula, I'm going to put the sides on the top here. In other words, I'm going to say, I'm going to write the formula like this. A over sine A equals B over sine B. It's easier to solve if you're looking for a side here to put it on the top of the fractions that you write. So you can label the triangle or you can just know that each fraction involves a side and the angle across from it. So if I say that 9 over sine of 38, what's highlighted in yellow over there, is the same as my missing side, which I guess I'm going to call B here, divided by sine of 71. If I want to isolate this now, if I want to find this, if I want to isolate that, if I multiply both sides by sine 71, I'll find what it is. If I want, I can even write it here like this and say sine 71 sine 71 on both sides and this will cancel each other out or I can just rewrite it the way it's going to end up there which is I'm going to have 9 times sine 71 which I'm going to write as 9 sine 71 and the bottom divided by sine 38 and that's going to give me my B value my missing side there so I am going to need to go to my calculator and then put all of that in. Here we are now. I want to turn that on and make sure that I'm in degree mode, which I'm not because I'm working with degrees. So if I'm going to put that in, I can put it in all at once on most calculators. 9 sine 71. Got to close the brackets on here. Divided by sine of 38 and that's going to give me what I'm looking for there 13.8 roughly if you leave off uh, that closing bracket it's not going to work properly it's not going to evaluate it the way you want it to so that is my side length roughly 13.8 you kind of double check that it looks like your answer makes sense this angle is bigger so you expect this side to be bigger. The sine law says that the ratio of the side and the sine of the angle across from it is equal for all pairs of sides, all three pairs. So the bigger the angle, the bigger the side that is across from it. Now, if you wanted to find the other one, uh, this other side length here, you can use the same approach except that we don't have this angle over here, but it's pretty easy to find that angle because it's a triangle and you know they all add up to 180 so if you look at what the other two are if you add that up and subtract it from 180 this missing angle over here which I'm guess I'm gonna call C now because I used A and B for the other ones angle C is gonna be 180 minus 71 minus 38 which is of course 71 degrees there. It's actually the same as this angle. Uh, so that thing's actually an isosceles triangle. I can go through and use the sine law again, but I'm just going to use the fact that if this angle and this angle are the same, then the sides across from them are going to be the same. So this missing side down here is actually going to be exactly the same as the one we just found, which is 13.8 roughly. All right. Otherwise, you could go through and set up the sine law and find it again. All right, so that is using the sine law to find a missing side in a triangle.